Greetings, David J. Kuhn with Qigong Awareness. I have my friend Keith here with me. Give him a little hang loose. All right, Keith's a surfer, all right? I surf other people's bodies in jiu-jitsu class, but that's a separate subject. Um, today, we're here to teach you Qigong. But do I know about chronic pain? Yes, I do. If you don't know my story, I was literally run over by a trailer on a hayride. I was on a hayride. I fell out. The trailer ran me over all the way up over the right side of my back. Um, I was diagnosed with uh, scoliosis within the next couple of years. I was told that I'd be crippled by the time I was 30. When I was 25 years old, they said my spine looked like I was 85. Now, let's come back to, oh, by the way, I healed the spine in the next three years by the time I was about 28 years old and have gone on to do a lot of other physical activities, thank God. So I'm here teaching you, sharing with you how you might be able to do it for yourself. I understand how difficult chronic pain can be. A lot of times you get the question, how long does Qigong take to work? Let's find out. Let's say you at home have chronic pain. Here's an exercise I want you to start with. You can either sit in a chair or hopefully get up off the couch, but if you can't get off the couch, then just sit on the couch, sit at the edge of the couch or sit in a chair and start with this one. The majority of pain that you have going on in your body okay, is happening because the blood is stuck, the chi is stuck, the lymphatic system is stuck, things have stopped moving. Okay, So if you'd like to see a little bit quicker benefit with Qigong, first of all, imagine you're like shaking off water here. Really relax shoulders. This should be really, really relaxed. And then toss the water. Touch your pants on the way by. Toss the water. Okay. If you'd like a little extra benefit from Qigong, okay, I highly recommend fasting. Take some lemon, put it in some water, and don't drink until lunch or don't uh, eat until lunchtime. Just drink your water. And while you're drinking that water, spend some time practicing Qigong. Watch how quickly it starts to clear your body out and watch how much better you start feeling. So there's a little secret there for you, a little tip. If you want to shortcut yourself to healing yourself a little bit more quickly, but some people will also just feel the benefit without the fasting element. They'll just stand up, go like this. And they literally do this few practices that I'm going to show you right here. And then afterwards they go, oh my God, like I actually feel better, you know? So it differs, okay? But I'm going to give you some ideas. So we're going to shake. And we're going to go. And we're going to shake. And we're going to go. If you have chronic pain, I guarantee you, you do not have enough movement in your life. I guarantee it. There's, it's a difference. If you have acute pain, maybe you're moving and you fell off your surfboard and the surfboard hit you with its fin and you're hurt. And so it's acute, okay? Okay, but if it's chronic, you're not moving enough. So you gotta do something to move. I, it doesn't even matter what the exercise is, honestly, okay? But there are some that work better than others. So I'm gonna show you some of those. This is gentle drum right here, okay? We're gonna lift, turn the heel. I've been showing you uh, a bunch of these lately, this exercise, and I have been saying that you may get tired of seeing this one, but I hopefully you don't because hopefully you'll remember it and hopefully you'll start practicing it and hopefully you'll start enjoying practicing it. If you ever have the opportunity to check out some of the documentaries of people practicing Qigong in China, people who have been diagnosed with terminal illness cancer and so on told they were given three four weeks to live and they're out in the park and this is what they do they literally sit here and this is one of the exercises that they practice and four years later guess what they're still alive and they're out there loving their life practicing qigong in the park okay at least to the best of their ability they're loving their life so this is a good one too okay you have chronic pain all right get some movement going then stop stand now, a lot of you may not have good stability if you're in chronic pain. So just standing like this and placing your hands like so and trying to stand straight with your chin, not like forward and down, but straight, may be uncomfortable for you if you have chronic pain because your tissues and everything are trying to fight you and hold everything together. So you're afraid to actually do a movement like this. You're afraid to do this movement because it hurts. So we gotta do it slow. So Keith, let's start here. We're just gonna come up with the hands right here. And we'll go real short, real short, like way chi. But it's low and it's only here. It's only here. 
So I'm gonna slowly bring my hands up my center line. This is eventually gonna be calling energy and chi up this way. I'm gonna fan my hands like I'm waving here. I'm gonna come back down to the navel center, below it a little bit. I'm gonna start to imagine I'm drawing this energy up, okay? From here, I'm gonna wave my hands out and I'm gonna come down. As I come here, let's stay here for a minute. Hold your hands, everybody, like this, okay? Like you have a little bit of an energy ball here or something. This lower area of your lower belly is called lower dantian. It's like a battery, it can be charged. Most people have lost their charge here, all right? So this is a way to charge it. This area is also sometimes called the sea of chi. So once we build this area up, which takes some attention and some practice, and some of you, I can feel it at home, you're already like, oh, my legs, you're already getting stiff and uncomfortable. So check it out. Let's jump out of that for a sec, Keith. And let's go into this marching. Those of you who have chronic pain are going to have difficulty with the static positions. I don't want you to be too intimidated by that. Anytime that you need to come out of a static position, I want you to start marching and I want you to start getting this calf muscle pumping blood back up the body, okay? Getting rid of those uh, varicose veins or heavy legs or whatever you have going on. Get this pumping, okay? You don't have to be on a treadmill. You don't have to go outside. You don't have to do any things, but keep this moving. Now, come back to the stationary position. From here, a little bit of a bend down. Imagine you're pulling energy from the ground or water. Go right here, shoulder height. Bring your hands back down. They come like this, but then they turn over. And then I draw up and my hands go out like I'm waving. And then I go here and I go back in to the water. I draw up. This is my sea of chi. I'll bring that energy up. I wave. I come down. There's different ways to come down there. You don't have to be super detailed about it right now. Just here, come down, turn my hands over. If you want to try it with some breath now, we're going to go like this. Exhale right here. So as we're going down, exhale through your mouth. Inhale slow through the nose. Hold your breath right here. Now exhale from your gut. Ah, make a little breath, a little sound. Let the exhale continue. Here, inhale. Here, start the exhale. Finish the exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Here maybe is a pause or you're continuing to exhale. Here's the inhale. Exhale. Here's your pause. You're just moving, could be moving without breath, so to speak. Then your inhale. Exhale. Then you're just sinking, going down to get your next breath. Inhale through the nose. Now, one last detail here. When you're doing this, okay, to begin with, it's like, okay, you're bringing up energy, okay, what does that mean, da da da. It takes, a, takes some years, in my experience, it took some years to really understand in more detail what that meant, but you, you start where you start. Imagine now, I'm not, I don't want you to do the practice like this, but I want you to visualize it like this. So Keith, put, bring your hands here and start going up your body slow like this, yeah? And then bring it back down, good. He's gonna do it that way, but I want you to imagine as he pulls up, go, that you're pulling it all the way up your legs and then bringing it up your body. But I don't want you to go down and actually do this, but I want you to see that in your mind. So when my hands go down here, I wanna imagine this comes up through my feet, my ankles, my knees, my hips, my torso, my chest. Now I spread it out. Now I sink. Now from the feet, the ankles, the knees, the hips, the lower belly, solar plexus, and guess what? It comes with the breath. Now we're gonna go one big way, Chi. We go inhale. We go out if we can, if you can at home. Exhale. Drawing from the ground. 
Whoa. Now, like bird's wings here, bird's wings come out, but now we turn this into a waterfall. Exhale. Oh. We're gonna go around like that again. It's called a waterfall. Imagine a waterfall right here comes down through your body. Whoa. One more. Oh. Good. So you need that movement. I know it's hard, but you need that movement. You need that movement. You need that stretching. And if to begin with, it can't be like this. I've had people come to a weekend program, for example. They could not lift this arm. They literally, their arm was here. Literally by Sunday, Saturday to Sunday, by Sunday, guess what? In fact, we had this one guy who was in um, Atlanta, Georgia, and he was running around in the program and he was going, look at me. Look at me. He hadn't had his arms up like this in years, years. He'd gone to physical therapy. He did all this stuff. He started doing these Qigong exercises and he's like, wow, this is actually like working because it's the mind, it's the body, it's the breath connection. Okay. If you don't have it already and you haven't checked it out, check out our 21 day Qigong challenge. It's really easy. Starts off with 10 minutes a day, builds up as you go along. You have the content ongoing. It is an excellent beginner practice series. So check it out and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.